Good morning everyone, I am Teacher Connie and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare the following. Today, I will discuss about inferring the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Look at the picture, then answer the questions. Look around your house. How many appliances do you have? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our everyday lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? Two conditions must met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Study its picture. How do they differ from each other? Is there a gap on wire? Or is there a complete path on connection of the bulb? The picture shows an electrical circuit. An electrical circuit has four parts. A source, light bulb, wires, and switch. Let's read and learn. Circuit is composed of a source of electrons the load, the wire, and the switch. Source of electrons is usually a battery. Load is any objects powered by electricity such as a light bulb on a buzzer. Wires connect one component of the circuit to another so that electric current flows. Wires must be good conductors of electricity. They should be made of materials that will allow electric current to flow through it. Switch conducts the flow of current in a circuit. The circuit should be closed for electric current to flow in the circuit. What do you mean by closed circuit? Closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. Electricity flows from the negative to the positive terminal of the dry cell. What happens to the bulb after you connect the light switch to the wire? Very good! The bulb light up when the switch was connected to the wire. When the switch was connected to the wire, the circuit was closed and so the electricity flows through the circuit. And what do you mean by open circuit? In an open circuit, electricity does not flow in this kind of circuit because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. What happened to the bulb after you detach the switch to the wire? Yes, the bulb was switched off from the wire. The circuit was open and so the electricity cannot flow through the circuit. The switches that you see around our homes are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in our homes open or closed. So, to turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch off. Other than switches, other causes of gaps or breaks in an open circuit include drained, rusty, or mispositioned batteries 
wherein similar ends are connected, busted bulb and misplaced bulb. How will you differentiate open from closed circuit? Great! An open circuit is a circuit that does not allow the electricity to flow from one end to the other end because of a gap between the path of the electricity while a closed circuit is a circuit that allows electricity to freely move from one end of the circuit to the other end. Let us check your answers. 1. Will not light. 2. Will not light. 3. Will light. 4. Will light. 5. Will light. If you got it right, keep it up. For activity 2, complete the following sentences by choosing the correct word from the box as shown below. Let us check your answers. 1. The circuit will work if the switch is closed. 2. The circuit is open when the switch is off. 3. They are wires that do not allow the current to flow. 4. Changing the type of load with the same power supply does not affect the circuit. 5. A circuit does not work if it is open. If you got it right, high five day five. For activity 3, match the concept in column B with its description in column A. Draw a line from column A to column B. Let us check your answers. 1. Circuit where electricity cannot flow, that is letter E, open. 2. A complete path of electricity, letter B, circuit. 3. A source of energy, letter A, battery. 4. Circuit where electricity flows freely, letter C, Closed. 5. Connect the light bulb on the battery. Letter F. Wires. If you got it right, congratulations! What have you learned? Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write it on the space provided for.
Let us check your answers. 1 letter B, 2 letter D, 3 D, 4 B, 5 A, 6 D, 7 C, 8 B, 9 C, 10 D. If you got it right, good job! Switching off appliances when they are not in use allows consumers to save electricity. By not switching off your appliances when not in use, your electric bill can double up without noticing it. This can happen because appliances still consume electricity even when they are on standby mode. I hope that you will always remember the things that you have learned today because learning is fun. Thank you for watching and listening. Bye!